Hey, welcome back. This is Eddie Muller with another cocktail uh, tie-in to my Noir Alley show on TCM. This week I'm actually going to catch up, okay? So um, I am showing the breaking point uh, this weekend on Noir Alley, which of course is based on Ernest Hemingway's novel To Have and Have Not. Uh, with a Hemingway story, I have a lot of ways I can go with a cocktail because uh, not only is he probably the most famous literary drinker of all time, but there are several cocktails that are synonymous with Hemingway. Uh, I'm not going to do a Death in the Afternoon, which is probably the most famous drink associated with Hemingway. We'll get to that later on. I actually have another movie in mind for that. Uh, but for the breaking point, uh, I thought long and hard about doing something outside the box with tequila or something because of the, they shift, in the breaking point, they shift the location from um, Key West to uh, California and uh, they go to Mexico instead of down to the Caribbean. Uh, so tequila seemed like a logical switch from the rum. But you know what? I didn't do that because um, probably the most famous drink associated with Hemingway uh, is the daiquiri, the Hemingway daiquiri. Uh, so I thought I would share that one with you and we'll, we'll make one of those uh, for you right here. So you want to get your, um, your coupe glass filled with ice. I don't do frozen daiquiris and stuff like that. That is not in my repertoire. I don't like frozen drinks. It's, it's insulting to the booze as far as I'm concerned. So uh, what you want to do is get some lime juice. You're going to do a half, um, a half ounce of lime juice. That's almost all of that. Um, you want to do a half an ounce of grapefruit juice. I have my fresh squeezed grapefruit juice in a uh, recycled tequila bottle. Uh, then you want to do a half an ounce of maraschino liqueur, which is all important to this drink. Don't overdo it, but that makes it. And then you want to do a generous uh, at least two ounces or even more, two and a half ounces of white rum. And of course, I'm using uh, Captain Morgan's white rum, which is kind of ridiculous. I actually went out and bought this bottle just for this because, of course, John Garfield plays a guy named Harry Morgan in the film, you know, Captain Harry Morgan. So it was only fitting that we use uh, Captain Morgan's rum. Okay, you know what? I'm going to use this since we're going to get rid of it anyway shortly. Put that in there. A few more ice cubes. And then we're going to seal this guy and give it a good shake. How long do you shake? Until you can't hold it anymore. That's what I say. Um, okay. And then you are going to strain this. into your coupe glass. Very nice. You want to put a nice lime wheel on that. And that's your Hemingway daiquiri. Wow, look at that, filled to the brim. I say cheers. Mmm. Yeah, actually, uh, Papa knew a thing or two about his drinks. That's not that's not too shabby. Um, yeah, okay. I approve, and I hope uh, you will make these, and be sure to watch The Breaking Point on Noir Alley this weekend. It's a masterpiece, honestly, and uh, you can't go wrong. 